welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. And if you're new, my name is Ashley. I am a homeschooling mom of four, but I am also a personal trainer. And I share a lot about those types of things on my channel. So today's video is really going to be for um, you guys who have been following me for a while. Um, as a homeschooling mom and as a working personal trainer, um, you have seen me share bits and pieces of that through my day in the life videos um, and also just in some um, conversational type videos that I've done for you guys. Um, and so I wanted to keep my channel current and up to date and I wanted to let you guys know, um, I think I mentioned this like in maybe one or two of the last videos I did that I had a change coming up. So effective at the beginning of March, um, so not very long at all, which is why it's taken me a couple of weeks to do this video because I really wanted to settle in and 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 decide how I was feeling before I made a video about it. Um, I decided that because I am a homeschooling mom of four kiddos who wants to enjoy her life, um, that I uh, needed to scale back my work. Um, so I went down from training five days a week to now only training in the gym two days a week. Now, thankfully, where I work, I get to make my own schedule and it's based on how many clients I schedule myself. Um, I do not work for a gym that just automatically gives me clients and I have to take them. So I am blessed in that regard that I had control over my schedule. Um, but basically that is a big deal to me. Um, and I think it's a big deal anytime you invest a lot of time and energy in something uh, like I did um, to get my NASM certification. Um, it wasn't super easy and uh, it took time. And so I think once you've invested time into something, it's more difficult to decide, well, I didn't see this coming and now that's gonna change or affect this. So that's where I'm gonna go with this video. I'm really gonna go to why I reduce my hours working outside of my home. Um, and the first reason is really just because I wanted to enjoy homeschooling my kids more. Now, I'm not saying I wasn't enjoying it, because I was. Everything was getting done, but there just wasn't enough space in my day for randomness, if you know what I mean. Like, if something occurs, or if it's a beautiful morning, um, or whatever it is, there just wasn't enough what I like to call white space, or like margin in my day, to where we could really kind of go off a little bit if we wanted to. Um, I'm not saying I haven't taken my kids on hikes for the last two years or stuff like that, because I have, but I just wanted more freedom. So that was really the number one reason was I was doing homeschool, I was enjoying homeschool, but I knew I could enjoy it more. And God really laid that on my heart a couple of months ago, maybe, even close to a year ago, but just being real with you guys, I am pretty stubborn, especially once I commit to something, I do not give up easily. And um, so it took me a while before I was like, okay, there's a lot of things happening and it's kind of all motioning toward me needing a break. The second thing that happened that uh, made me decide to go ahead and reduce my days down was I had a few months um, where, and this is me being super honest and real and vulnerable with you guys. Um, I'm not going to just give you like the highlight version. I'm going to really share with you the real reasons why I decided to do this. Um, I had a former client of mine, um, who I helped, um, I coached her for two years. Um, I motivated her, I pushed her, I helped make her stronger, I was her friend, I was a listening ear, and I had her um, suddenly turn and um, become very angry and bitter and um, 
was just not being kind uh, and saying things to mutual clients and friends and just really kind of defaming my character, if I'm being honest. Um, and that affected me, not because this person was so significant in my life, but just because I was like, how could you after all I've helped you with? Um, so it just turned into be a really toxic, negative situation. And it really made me, it got my attention. It made me evaluate why am I giving so much to everyone else? and probably giving the least to myself. I mean, I was still getting my workouts done and everything like that, you guys, but just at the end of the day, I was taking a lot of my mental energy and using it for other people's good who in turn may not ever actually appreciate it. Um, and you know, that's bound to happen. I don't think I'm gonna become best friends with every person that I help, but just the timing of it definitely opened my eyes. And I think that God used that situation to get my attention and make me reevaluate. Maybe I don't need to be giving so much, if that makes sense. And for me, that looked like time. Um, because there's just never enough time. And the third reason why I decided to scale back my um, outside of the home training business was because I am running another half marathon. Woohoo! I am running another half marathon on April 29th of this year. It has been four years since I ran a marathon. When I shared my fitness story, you guys know that a half marathon was what kicked off this whole journey for me. Um, and so it's taken me four years to do it again because I love lifting weights and there was always something else that I was focused on. Um, but I am excited to see what my body can do because I am definitely much stronger mentally and physically than I was just one year after having my fourth baby when I ran my last one. Um, and so with that being said, here's a little side note. I uh, wanna know if you guys wanna see weekly updates of my half marathon training. I got the idea because I figure there's a lot of you guys out there who watch me for fitness stuff that maybe have run a half marathon, maybe are running a full marathon, maybe that's a dream that you've always dreamt of doing. And I kind of thought it would be cool if I did weekly running updates, kind of how people do weekly pregnancy updates where I will go through um, the same questions and just share with you guys my journey. I thought it would be kind of cool for me to look back on as kind of like documentation of what I was going through um, for this run. So I have, I'm three weeks into my training plan, so I would do like a video that got us up to speed, and then I would do a weekly video. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. Um, it won't hurt my feelings if you don't, but I just thought I would put it out there. Um, so that is the third reason was because when you are training for a half marathon, you need time to run. And I need time to not only run but to run outside because number one running on a treadmill is so boring number two running on a treadmill makes you think you're faster than you actually are and number three um for the type of race i'm doing i really needed to practice running on hills and the treadmill can only emulate a certain incline and a certain decline okay so that was the third reason and the fourth reason, which I'm going to be doing a whole nother video on this, is because I, when I first um, started getting back healthy, I became a beach body coach. And I became a beach body coach in 2012 while I was home with my four under four. And I um, was an, an active coach for a long time. I led a lot of different groups. If you are not familiar with what a beach body coach does, it's basically you lead a group of participants through a program that beach body offers and you are their supporter, encourager, helper, all of the above. So I did that for a while and I loved it, but I had to put that on the back burner when my personal training business really took off because there's only so many people I can train and coach and help at the end of the day. Um, but I feel like God presented me that opportunity long ago because he knew, of course he knew that I was gonna end up homeschooling and helping women is a passion of mine. Um, it is, I don't think it is my purpose and I had to really prayerfully seek 
the defining difference between a passion and my purpose in life. I had to really, you know, hone in on that and differentiate because the lines were kind of blurring. Um, so after doing that, I decided that I would go ahead and open up the opportunity to coach women, especially now being a certified personal trainer, I have more to offer people than I did when I was first starting out. I have more experience, I have more knowledge, I have more confidence, I all of the above. So I went ahead and opened that up and I have an awesome group of 15 women that I am working with for the next 30 days. Um, and we are going through a hybrid schedule. So that means everyone is kind of doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, and so with toning down my outside of training, um, uh, time, I'm able to do more online training. So I want to let you guys know that if you are interested in online training with me, please follow me on my Instagram account. I will leave it down below, but it's my name, Ashley with two E's and underscore Grace and Grit, the name of my channel on Instagram, because I update their often and that is where you will see invitations when I'm opening up a new round or a new group. So I just wanted to give you guys my life update so that when you start seeing maybe some other videos, you're not wondering, oh, I what happened? She's not training anymore. I am still personal training outside my house two times a week, but I am down from five and it has been a blessing. The last two weeks I have enjoyed homeschool so much more. I've enjoyed my morning coffee so much more and I just feel joyful. So I know that um, when my decision was confirmed with a peaceful feeling that that was definitely what I needed to do. So I just wanted to share that with all of you guys. I hope you are well and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.